Hello whiskey lovers and welcome to another one of Mark's Whiskey Ramblings. Another release from a brand new distillery. Well, that's not into, no, rephrase that. Another brand new release from a new distillery. That's more like it. Arden Merkin has just released their inaugural release. Always something to look forward to. In this case, Arden Merkin actually waited until their distillery uh, had a whiskey that is five years old. It, it, it's a bit of a difference between other distilleries that release their, their whiskey at the age of three. They actually waited until it was actually five years old. And in this case, it's a fatting of 53 casks. 65% of those are Foreman bourbon casks and 35% are sherry casks, both Oloroso and Pedro Jimenez, PX, the king of sherry. So that's what we have in the glass here. It's the Ardnemurken AD. 09.20 double dash 01 the inaugural release anyway this is bottled at 46 uh no what am i saying 46.8 percent abv and uh i don't have to open up my bottle just yet because i got the sample also in the uh, uh tasting pack that are american released and the tasting pack has four samples as you can see here one of them being the inaugural release which i've already poured there's a reason for that they also had three cask samples that were actually, they are not going to be released as whiskey as single casks, no. They are merely there to be sort of a representative of the house style of what Arne Merkin can do. Um, for example, there is this sample that is a uh, champagne cask matured. Well, there's no such thing as a champagne cask now, is there? But it's wine that is destined to become champagne, hence the champagne cask. The, uh, from the uh, the cellars of uh, Paul Lanois, that is. That one was absolutely stunning. And I, I've heard that they've got nine Paul Lanois casks in their warehouses at Art American, and one of those might actually be bottled as a single cask next year. That is one to remember. So keep an eye out for the Art American single cask Paul Lanois. That's going to be absolutely stunning. But back to the whiskey at hand, the inaugural release of Art American, which has a... Uh, white wine color and is bottled at 46.8 ABV and I've actually poured it beforehand there's a reason for that uh, like I said because this let's find out white wine colored 46.8 percent ABV Arden American five years old inaugural release on the nose is very herbal and I get lots of green garden herbs like thyme and rosemary but also some juicy pears and a surprising salty note there. But it cannot hide its young age. It absolutely cannot, but it does not have to. And if you leave it to breathe, which I did, it becomes uh, pleasantly sweet on vanilla and maybe even some applesauce. Lovely. It's a bit of a lowland style in my opinion, but with that added salty note, it becomes the Highlander that it is. Nice on the palate. Nicely oily, a lot of honey in there and a good dose of wood smoke. It is a bit smoky indeed. Now the green elements, they return on the palate immediately as does the salty edge, giving it some depth in fact. It's surprisingly maritime and quite waxy for such a young malt. Mm. I quite like this, but I, I, it's much, how should I put this? It, it delivers a lot more than the nose promised. So the nose was quite young, unable to hide its age, but on the palate, you can already tell this is whiskey. On the finish then. I'll be honest, the finish is short actually it's very short it's it's gone before you realize it uh, it's short sweet and quite peppery in fact uh, with a, a drying element at the very death and there you have it the uh, it's a nice first release it's not flabbergasting it's not out of this world it's not hey this is only five years old but already it's a beautiful first release uh, unfortunately, by now, 
it's quite hard to come by. The bottle flippers were way ahead of us. As soon as this hit the shelves at the original price of, I think it was 65 euros or something like that, they were, they were gobbled up and uh, immediately uh, uh, purchased by, by people who not only want to try it like I do, but also people who want to collect it for some reason. Trust me, not all of these first releases will become collector's items or uh, it's supposed to be drunk. It's supposed to be enjoyed. It's supposed to be shared. So that's what I'm going to do. And I know what you're thinking. Yeah, Mark, all good and well, but you're not opening your brother either, are you? Actually, I am. Uh, as you know, I host these online whiskey tastings, Whiskey with a Q, Whiskey in Quarantine. And uh, in February, I plan a new kids on the block uh, tasting. That's going to be the masterclass that I will be doing then. And that's when I will be opening up and sharing this new release from Art Nemurkin, the Art Nemurkin inaugural release. I was lucky enough to be able to get this, this bottle and tasting pack through my good buddy from Holland, Manny. So thank you, Manny, for providing me with the opportunity to try the Art Nemurkin inaugural release and also the cask samples. Remember the champagne cask. Remember, remember. Anyway. That's all for this Whiskey Rambling, and I hope uh, you uh, are keeping safe, staying home, enjoying your whiskey in a safe environment. Remember to live fast, but drink slow. And that's all, and I hope to see you at one of Mark's Whiskey Ramblings real soon. And until then, may the Lord be with you.